Sour in the bag section 10 years ago was a foot wide. Now it runs 40 feet at the grocery store. It tells you how much money they're making on that stuff. It's four times the money to, to make them out of a bag than it is to make them from. So turn your burger completely off. Close the valve down and to the right. I'm going to remove it from the pit, from the burner. And it's just going to continue to cook for us right there. So six minutes. Take it off for about six. You know, the good news is the factory that sends me out here. So they send me out here with about 15 of these to give away free this weekend here at the RV show. And the bad news is that I do about 16 demonstrations this weekend. And this is number this is number 12. So what I try to do is after every show, I try to give one, two, or three people an opportunity to get one, one free. We've already given away 10 salad machines already. So listen up afterwards, and I'll show you how to get a free gift. But we're going to switch gears, and I'm going to ask the ladies a question. No offense, men, but ladies, wouldn't it be nice if the men did all the cooking at home? We do. Yeah. We've got a couple lucky ladies out there. You know, if men do the cooking at home, let's ask you, let's ask them a question. If you had to work a nine to five job, guys, and come home and cook for a family of four to six, and sit in the kitchen for two more hours, cooking, cleaning, and scrubbing pots after working all day, what type of tools are you putting in the kitchen? The cheapest or the best? Yeah, your answer's in your garage. Snap-ons, power tools, craftsman tools, John Deere mowers. We hunt, we fish, we play golf. Money's no object. You know how I know that? Because <laughs> I'm one of them. When it comes to tools for the kitchen, 
pots and pans. You know what I hear from men all across America that don't cook? They walk by the booth, the wife, the wife looks at the pans, the husband says, honey, why are we stopping here? He says, we've already got pots in our kitchen. How many people already have pots in their kitchen? Everybody, right? I'd be crazy to come out here now for 18 years doing these demonstrations and showing you something you already have. How many of us over the years, though, just kind of put together what we like to call here is the all-American set? You know, we end up with this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some of the make do's, leftovers, running gifts, shower gifts, some of the flea market specials. Now, your sets may not look quite this bad, but you get the idea here today. I'm going to start with the holy grail of cookware, the iron skillet. How many people here have ever cooked on an iron skillet? Is it a good cooking pan? Absolutely. You know why? Here's why it's a good cooking vessel, is because when you put heat on it, it takes the heat and transfers it around and holds it, which is kind of exactly what I'm showing you here right now with our one and a half quart saucepan. The downfall of iron is that it's so heavy that people with arthritis can't even pick them up, and it's so porous that when you fry a hamburger in it one day, fish in the pan the next night, you get up the next morning and make eggs, you get a fishy egg taste like a hamburger you had a couple days ago. That's why they call it a seasoned pan, God forbid you ever wash it. Now the most expensive and dangerous pan they ever developed was the coated pan. I took this one as a trade-in for the lady about, about six years ago. I said, what happened to all the coating? She says, we ate it. <laughs> At least you knew about it, right? You know, after the health scale with Teflon, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, you can't find Teflon pans on the shelf anymore. They said by 2014 they had to remove them all off the shelves. They couldn't sell them anymore. I'm not going to tell you why, but you can figure that one out. But the biggest growth in sales since those health scares in Teflon has been in, has been in stainless steel. And what people like about stainless steel is that it's safe to cook it. Nothing ever comes off that pan that gets into your food that causes a health problem. Now the downfall of stainless is everybody complains that that the regular stainless steel pans have a tendency to stick, they burn easily, and make them hard to clean. You ever notice on the bottom of a stainless steel pan they always put copper on the bottom? Or an aluminum slab? Now see, stainless steel doesn't conduct heat very well, so they have to add heat conductors to the pan. The problem is where they put them. If you only have it on the bottom of the pan, you're doing a pot of tomato sauce or chili, what are you going to stand there and do all that? You stand there and mix and stir because all the heat's down here. Anybody remember that old stuff that was around for years? Anybody remember the old Visionware glass pans? Man, they were fun for the whole family. You got to go in the kitchen and watch the food burn. Now, don't get me wrong. Good cookware's always been expensive. But, you know, good cookware's never been sold in a store. Does anybody here remember how they sold good cookware years ago? Before malls? In the mall. Before that? Home shows. Before that? Oh, in the mall. Yes, they, they would come to your house. Before you could you could pick up, a, you could, couldn't go on the internet and buy some. This is before catalogs. They'd come around and knock on your door. And companies like Guardian Service, wherever, Vitacraft, Club Lumina, Miracle Maid, Salad Master, back in 1949, they sold a 22-piece set of waterless pans made out of pure aluminum for $100. I say $100 today, it doesn't mean anything. $100 is a tank of gas for your truck. $100 is a good date. Go to a nice restaurant. Get a two, two entrees, get, two, uh, get an appetizer, get two drinks a piece, and one dessert. Guess what that is? It's 100 bucks. Now, if you go to, even if you go to a mid-range restaurant, it's 50 bucks if you go to like a Chili's or a half a piece. But you know, 100 bucks in 1949, people made $25 a week. You know what those people today will tell you about their investment in these pants? They still have them, they never wore out. I'll tell you, it's one of the best investments they ever made in their homes. Now, there's two reasons I know that. That particular pan right there, I took as a trade-in from a lady two years ago. She was from Oklahoma City. Now, when she brought me the box of these, she would not let go of the box. She says, I've only had two things in my life, 54 years. She says, my pans and him. <laughs> and I told her, I said, there's no way I'm taking him as a trade-in today. You know, a little bit another 54 years, there's nothing wrong with it, but she wanted to upgrade. She said she's gotten the use out of the pants. They were made with 18-8 steel, so she couldn't fry her chicken or meats without oil. She had to use oil in the pan, but they were waterless. They just weren't greasy. Now, the other reason I know they last forever is because my mom bought her first starter set, 10-piece set, when she was 17 years old. She lived in South City, right here in St. Louis, and she spent $300. Now, my mom turned 68 here in January. She still has them. They're 51 years old. You know what my mom told me? She says, when she bought her set for 300, she says, Dad was out looking at new trucks for 2,500. <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good analysis right there. 
if a truck was twenty five hundred fifty years ago and it's twenty five thousand today that means prices have gone up a hundred that means my mom's starter set today should be selling for three thousand dollars well we haven't gone up that much in price we have gone up a little over half that but what we have done is we have literally tripled the quality in the cookware. Now the way they did that was they took the original heavy duty pan from years ago. Now they wrap and seal it with a titanium alloy to give it a super heat conducting core. So that's your that's your one, you got a pure aluminum wrapped with titanium alloys, wrapped with surgical steel inside now. So that gives you a five ply pan that is not only thick across the bottom, but it's thick up the sides. So it gives you even heat all the way through your, your cooking vessel. That's how it holds.